Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey guys, welcome to the second game of the Western Conference and me and Boomer are back. We're about to be seeing this next part of the game for the last first game of the playoffs. And that's right, we've got the Los Angeles Kings and they're ready to take on against the Canadian team as Vancouver are back in for the playoffs, ready to take on against the American team. It's the Kings versus the Canucks. We have never seen Vancouver Canucks since the early season of the start in 2023-24. to They've been rocking it. They've been crushing it in there, and this is what their first team comes in in the first round and get right into this matchup. As we start things along, let's meet your visiting team, as Talbot will be the starting goaltender for the Kings. As right now, Anze Kopitar hasn't really been playing for most of them as all of his curricular goals right in between. He has an unstoppable force only for a great strength with the puck. Then Drew Doughty, which of course he calls his Ely Rush defending, puts a shutdown. Ben and Adrian Kempe with the wheels, with the great skiing with the puck, does it all for once. And not really what he meant to take all of his motion swinging drive. Then Kevin Fiala, he has a wheels with a great skating with the puck ability, maybe taking it for a next level if he can. And finally it's Philip Deneau with a yoink of his defensive stick clips. That does it for all for him if he can get that one through here. Now let's meet your visiting team to the home team of the Vancouver Canucks, starting off with Elias Pedersen. He has all of his snipe on his settling and he has done for his Ely Puck settling. He has definitely done with his better technique of his own goal, but that may be the whole thing if he sniped it with his slap shot ability. Then along with that we have the Squid Hughes, Ely Edges. His Ily Edges agility has turned to be like this. But in all directional changes, he does most of his best routine. He definitely tried sticking it up right away. And it's not only just in my or back he does, it just keeps on living. Van Thatcher Demko, your starting goaltender for the for the Vancouver Canucks. He has a light work that he does. He clearly wrist shot saves, sometimes does for all of them. When he wrists it across, he sometimes wants to do for his next new ability to try to try to come up with his own technique. Go with the light work, wrist shot, and go with that save. That was a hard one, but he can try to do it right away. Then your superstar players are JT Miller, unstoppable force with a great strength with the puck. Philip Bronick with the Thunderclap. Then it's Elias Lindholm with Magnetic Ability. Then it's Brock Bozer with also a Snipe. Same thing goes in with uh, Elias Pedersen. And finally, we have this Ilya Mikhaev with the Wheels Ability to take all of his chance. So that will be it for the starting group matchups. Let's go down to Vancouver. As we send things off, we have this, this Mepo along with Terry Crews, and Woods Birdie. And finally, we have the center ice ballpoint pen. We'll see you guys later in just a bit on the other side. Now, let's get going. Hey, everybody, it's me, Code, here at Vancouver, here at the Rogers Arena. Get ready as we're about to see the American team and the Canadian team. This time, it's about to happen. Me with Terry Crews and, of course, Woods Birdie. And this side of the commentary is center ice is Paul Poipen. Let the games begin. We start things up as Barberry will have it over to get to my field. We start things up here for Vancouver as right now they have been dominating it and they're in for the postseason for the first time in the franchise history. You know, I have a lot of great feelings of that one. This made me determine out that they've been really been playing it for every season. They've never been waking it away along the way. It's been so long since we haven't seen the Vancouver Canucks making their way into the postseason. And this might be their first time that they have been played for. You know, I have a lot of a great uh, look of a use of it because of that one. They've been playing it so much. They wanted to get this thing done and hopefully they do it as they can. 
Start with a shot. This one's tough by Talbot. Talbot will start things off here to cover up the puck here. We're just passing a minute mark in the first. As we get this thing settled in there, ready for the faceoff, it's still no score to game. Drew Doughty wins the faceoff as right now LA's back in transition, going back in the air away. And a shot! And a good stop by Goose by Tempo. Denault's got it now, he finds more. Say puts up here by Tempo. You know the hard one, I just really say that Tempo is really powerful doing this. Just keep that one out of here if you know how to get that down. Here's Moraver, we'll have it again to Moore. And now he's on his way down into Canaxo. Locked up by Tempo. Under 17 minutes remaining in the first period. This will have to start things off here with just no score to games. Another win for LA. Good stop by Temko. Now back the airway, trying to get it out of here. No shot taken over. That's going to be a hard one. It's not going to be easy to take this one again if you're going to stop one. Here's Mikhaev with the butt. And now sliding in. Now Cersei scores! What a goal start for the Vancouver Canucks. That one puts him on board. One nothing. If that close up turns to be Bosar, that Wickster puts it up here for the start of a goal night. That is going to start things up here if he gets it in there. That one goes right past Talbot. You're never going to get that one in there if you got that goal coming in your way. The first goal comes in for Vancouver Canucks. One that makes a score in a hockey game. Now the LA wins the faceoff. As right now, Gavrikov will fire it out. Here's Cole. Cole swings it past to Friedman. Friedman now finding Pedersen. Here's another look in here for the offensive side. Looks at Polander. Backhander. Oh, that Talbot got that saved in time. That one's going to be a little hard on that one. Try to keep it out if you can. Here's a call as we have Paul Point Pence standing by. Elias Pedersen has a slight one to take all of this on his own. The better technique is not always worthwhile, but you always have to know how Snipe goes in. I have a lot of range for Drew Doughty. He might have another way to keep on coming down. Let's find out if he does. These are the two matchups. I have it in the range between the two. I'll be watching. Right in between right of those Impelius Patterson and of course Drew Doughty. Back to you, Nico. Bumble up in the corner from the wall. Now finds off the there. Right toward the middle, it's been down. Good stop by Talbot as he makes a glove save. You know the easier way to do for Talbot, he gets that one in with the glove shot. He has made that one really easier. Keep that one coming down. As the wind puts up in for a more Ferrar, Move Ray will have that one in there. Now he finds a way to get a byfield. Byfield right in toward the middle, try to look for slot in cheap. And the shot! This one went wide, and this one almost went in as Demko makes a stop. Ronix got that butt, now finds Hughes. Now he gives it again to Pelko skin, and Lindholm will have it. Great buck moving for the Canucks. That one stops it out. Byfield's got that buck right toward the back of the slot. Byfield looking it in to take the shot. Good catch by Demko. He's off for the whistle here with only 13 21 remaining in the first period. It's a little 1 0 score. Now the LA Kings will win it. Murray shot. Good stop with the pad blocker by Demko. More shot. The blocker stops again for Demko. Really have to be pressuring it in there. If Demko needs to stop one, he's got to get that one close in. He went down. Moore's got that puck. Now begin to Fiala. Fiala right toward the middle. This one gets traffic jam behind as Hayus will have it. He will clear the puck out. Moverware's got that puck right in between and now he finds Doughty. 
Down he swings, spins it around, now finds Deneau. Deneau looking it over. Miller's got that buck. Finds now to Goose. Now again to Boucher. Now you guys begin to Mikhaev. Mikhaev lost that buck. He's trying to get this thing clear to Miller. On a shot saved by Talbot. Valley for the corner. As Gabrikov will have it again to Anderson Dooling. Miller give it again to Barone. Shoots! That's saved by another attempt by Talbot. That was really going to be a wild shot there. That will be a hard one to keep out. Anderson Dolan has that puck on a shot range, saved by Timko. He's going to hold it up. 10.38 left to remain in the first period. Just that time now to get another one coming in, as it's still a 1-0 lead near the midway mark. Kopitar wins the faceoff. Kavrikov shot on a rebound stop now by Timko. Elliott's got that puck. Patterson has that one taken over. The Canucks are back into the offensive zone. Trying to cut him down. This was knocked out. Los Angeles will have that pucking carry on as Turk Hardy will have it. Shoots! What a wild save by Timko. You know you're going to get the handle feeling of it because that slap shot, that's easy to have Demko make that club stop. Now another win here puts him here for the Vancouver Canucks as they will have it now. Now Pedersen will have that one over again to Friedman. Shoot! Well saved by Talbot. He's going to hold up for the whistle past the midway mark. Now he puts him another win as Eglin will have it. 9-12 to go in the first period. It's still a 1-0 lead score. Byfield's got it. He went down. No penalty called on Vancouver. Oh, uh, that's too close. That's going to be a lot of challenging changes. It's not going to happen like that at all. Fiala gets scooped down as now goes back again to Denol. Here's Moore. Shoots on the way. Rebound has been denied. Demko will try to hold on with that puck. Just a 21 to love. go in the first period. Really need to be here. You have to definitely show up if you try to get there that far. Los Angeles wins another faceoff. Pallied it up by Tempo. Here's goal. Now gives it again to Laferty. Laferty will try to like carry it out. Mowbray. Mowbray again to Moore. Try to take the attempt to take the tie. Two on two. That shot went up wide over the net. Laferte Lef will have that puck. Keeps it in play. That one stopped again by Talbot. Easier on the card. It's not easy to take when you're looking to take the shot. That is a hard one to maintain it pressure-wise, because that would be a hard one to maintain it. Another stop by Talbot. Here goes again, Blooker. He goes say, and he lost that puck. He's running an attacker, looking to beat the goal. Denied by Tempo. Oh, that was very close. He was almost going to make that goal and tie that game in the first period, but that didn't seem to work. So it looks like they have to deny that one in between. Here's Downey now finds Mogerwerk again to LaFury. LaFury will to get to Anderson Doolin. That one stopped by Demko. They're going to rest it up with only that 5.40 to go in the first period and ready for the faceoff. Now they're ready to do one again. Still a 1 0 lead for the Vancouver Canucks. Now Lindholm wins the faceoff. Vancouver on its way down as Foos will have it over again to Garland. As you know for Garland, he has been playing against the Minnesota Wilds. He's got a great look. In between transition, work on territory, make it clean. Rebound! Oh, what a stop by Talbot with five minutes gone by. You know, I really have to say, because Connor Garland really had that all coming in down. He's been really impatient. I don't know if he will be, 
but he might be going over if he can get there again. They're on full pressure. Ducati leaves his own in the Vancouver side, now in the territory. Now Goose will have it. Now he finds Lindholm. Lindholm trying to race him down, looking into the corner. He gets special out. Byfield well, has that one right in control. Gives a pass to Ducati. Los Angeles back into the Canucks territory. Backhand won't work him out as it goes back again to Pokolski. Fox will skin to Lindholm. 3.45 left to remain in the first period. That shot's blocked by Mouvre. Mouvre again to Turcot. Turcot trying to go with the battling on the board. This one stopped. Now back again to Goranek. Goranek trying to keep the puck out. Gabrikov's got that puck. Into more! What a save by Timko! That one really easy it up. That's going to stay him out. That's going to be a hard one if he's going to try to stop him along. If he gets there. Gabrikov trying to take the puck, but Hoglander's got it now in the corner. This one recovers his header up. Right to Suter! Oh, what a nice save by Talbot. Just under 2.30 to go. Y'all, you know, that reaction may have been a worth it, but it may not be like that at all. I don't know what the deal is, but hey, don't let that question come in mind if you're going to take that goaltender. If you're the LA Kings goalie, you're going to have to make that stop quick and find out what's going on if there's another shot taken in. Viala will have that puck in. Trying to take one. Good stop by Demko. On a recovery rebound, that one stopped by the Vancouver Canucks. Sutter's got it. Try to leave his own, unable to clear it out. Dubois shot. Dubois makes that shot stop saved by Demko. And you call Dubois. That's what he knows for the last name. Goes with the Dubois, missed up and saved, comes away. Sutter will shot. Saved by Talbot. Nearing the final minute in the first period. So one up in game. Now LA Kings will have it. Just one minute left to remain in the first period. Trying to look for some more clearing attack. Here's the Dubai. Lost that puck as Cole has it. 35 seconds in the first period. Now finds Miller. Here's another one. LaFerrere will have that puck in carry. Get the pass to Anderson Dolan. And Dolan give it over in the middle. Try to cut to go for time. Whoa! That one hit off the defender of the stick. And that ends the first period. First goal comes in for Bozor. We'll have that quick break and we'll come back for the second. We are back at Rogers Arena, ready to start the second period. It's all for everything, as we start things now underway in Vancouver for the second period. This is a great matchup, right in between LA and Vancouver, as we have the recap for my guys over here. You guys take it away. Well, I'm just really enjoying that Vancouver Canucks are really like a professional team. They are telling them that they've got a lot of it with a huge hustle in the making. I've really been happy enough that this was going to be a, like a hard one to take over. But as I mentioned it before, it, this may have been the only team that has ever been competing in its competition. They've done that so to try to reach ahead and then do their best. You know, it's really the tough guys is keep out in sight, just do it on your bones, behave up. And it's not really like an easier way to get this one finished. Hopefully you can just try to keep on going down. As a start for Kopitar, he has that puck. Right over it again to Turcotti. This one stopped. That one stopped by Demko, and now he has it over to Bozer. Canucks are back into the King's territory. Stopped by Talbot. Bozer recovers again. Troy to rebound it, but it's stopped again by Talbot. Caught it save. We're nearing a 17.30th mark. I saw them try to get that defender to save it again. They're really like all of them. And this is really like no one ever seen like that. Now the LA Kings will win the faceoff and now he gets it to Dowdy. Now find Viola. 
He's on his way down. Friedman's got one. Now again to Bozer. Bozer now again to Mikhaya. On a shot! Oh, what a stop by Talbot! Bovarev will have the clip now again to Denault. They leave the zone, now into the connect zone. On shot! The save by Demko. Demko's going to hold up with the puck, which only 16-3 to go in the first, first second period. All of his lightsaber. As Tatra Demko has a light work on his ability to make that one all separated out. Whatever he does now, he has to make that one a lot of a harder and aggression that he is doing. This was not the only day when he was been really been stepping up for his that point. But as you can definitely tell them for sure, that the Canucks really have to look for the uh, Tatra catch to go with that one on the setup. This score is not going to be easy enough, but we'll see what Demko does if he had that light working save here again. Stop by Talbot! And he's off for the whistle here with under 16 minutes remaining in the second period. If you're looking forward in for the next part of the game, this will be the next matchup coming underway in game number two. The New York Rangers definitely won that game, so we will be seeing on a second day back soon. As we go back in towards with the East Coast to the West Coast, we start things off right in between the second and third seeds of the game. Panthers are taking on against the Maple Leafs. Secondly, we've got it across here from the, from the West Coast on the other side. As the Oilers take on against the other team of the Golden Knights. What a stop by Demko. And then after that, will be the next part of the game as the, another attacker comes on for the Canes versus the Flyers. And finally, we have it coming in, the Jets versus the Avalanche. Now I'll be back here for another part of the game, only on Son of Beast. Now you saw Blender, you will got that buck straight away. Deep saucer pass, Sutter shot! Saved by Talbot, cock that puck, and he takes that one out now again to Byfield. Easy enough to save for him, because that really has to go with a lot of save on the repetition. They can't let that happen that more. Freebay now signs again to Sutter. Sutter went double down, and now back to Byfield. Byfield wanting to take his own time, looking for another room. Go again to Turcotte. Good stop by Demko at the flex it right toward the glass. Byfield on the cover and bounce. He now has it over to Kupitar. Here's Oglander. Now gives again to Cole. 13 minutes remaining in the third pe second period, and another stop again by Talbot. The Canes break their way down towards the Canucks zone. Freeman's got the puck now find Oglander. Vancouver back in the ever transition to go back towards the Kings side. Dubois with the puck. Good stop by Demko. Chested it up and ready for another face off. Just only 12 22 to go. Plus, the NBA playoffs is underway soon, so there is another way that's coming underway here on 2K Sports on only on Son of Feast. We have that one coming in after a play in tournament, then the playoffs starts here. This is going to be a, one of the big matchups that you will ever see. What it goes with the face-to-face -face or any time. That's what they all say. It's playoff time. Oh yeah, I agree with you. We love playoffs. Extensible postseason can't leave it deniable. Good stop by Demko. Now Goose will have his turn. Now we'll bring their team right to the king zone. Fires the puck out. Move will have that puck. He now has it over again to Dubois. Dubois finds Anderson Dolan. Rebound, he scores! Dubois ties this game up. First goal in the NHL playoffs, 130 of his total career of this season. What happens now is, because Dubois was able to do that, Dunco didn't really get back to his feet. He didn't really think that that his leg wasn't pushing down. That is a problem. That's nowhere near because if the Wild had that one lose control, he really just saw that one that, that, that Demko didn't really have the night timing to get this one in. 
Canucks and Kings are tied by one. In a second period, near in the midway mark of the period. Move where we'll have that buck here with 11 minutes. Now passes is more. Good stop by Demko. After a rebound, here's the ball. It all cuts it in. Oh, that one got out of the way that time. Here's Mikhaev. Shoots. Save again by Talba. That's what happens now because Talba had that key connection in there. He just saw that one alert coming in by. That's what he has to know. He's going to get that one out of the way. And Bozer will have his own time with the puck. Downey's got that puck right back the other way. Another take. That one deflected off. Now back the airway to Mikhaev. He goes right again to Hughes. Hughes takes it away, now finds Hirone. Hughes shot! Saved by Talbot. Talbot's gonna hold that puck here and pass in the midway mark of the period in the second. Still a lot of time left in this period. You can feel the energy now. It is a tie game. Moore wins the faceoff as Drew Downey will have it. Again to Quinton Byfield. On a 2 on 1 opportunity. Off the defender it goes. Right toward the wall. Ducate shot. That gets blocked. Downey now finds Mowbray. Mowbray now over again to Byfield. Over again. What a save by Tenko. That's really like an easier way to get that one clumped up. You just need to get that one at the right timing to get it done. Lots of time left in this period. It's still a one score game. That's already at or even. They're trying to look for a maintainer to lead the game in a second. Pogolskin losing control here. Pass now to Lindholm. Talbot's going to hold that puck up with just only 8 16 left to go. The man have been working it out here ever since then. They got a lot of them that they were going to get there through. Now the win puts in for the Kings. Move rare, we'll have that puck here running around across over onto the Canucks zone. Demko, glove stop. Inching closer to the midway mark, and now back in into for before the second period Instagram expires. It's still a tie game. Now Freeman will have that long time. On his own whisk away. This one gets stuck it over and now Mover will have that puck. Pass again to Derry. Now he gives it off to Byfield. Byfield lost that puck as Hotlander will have it back. He tries to get over this. Turn the shot that goes wide right behind the net. Mover had that puck. Now he has it over to cross again to Derry. Byfield will have that puck in range. Shoots! That one gets blocked and defended. Cole gets to Hotlander. On his attacking inbound. He loses the puck. Now Downey will have it over to get in the byfield. That puts him in the home bleacher side. Oh, wow. That's like a tumble takedown. You would never see how this one is going to happen. When you say you never get that one easy, that is going to be a hurtful way to get that out. Roy gives it over to Anderson Doolin. He's all along. Stopped by Demko. Hoglander gives it again. Over now to Miller. Miller's trying to hustle them down. Bosar's shot. That could put the blocker saved by Talbot. And stops again by Talbot. Nearing a five minute mark in the second period. Still a tie game. Inching closer to the down to the end of the second period. Still a tie game. Now with the win, your own shot. That's gloved up by Talbot. You never wanted to get this one down. You might have to choose something else if you can get there. Now with the win, he gets it over to Roy. Roy trying to give it again to Gabrikov. Now again to LaFury. LaFerrier will have that puck deep out into the zone. 
Hughes has that puck. Chanting, crowd chanting, let's go Canucks. Albin and backhand, and this one is knocked out again by Tobin. That's when no one dies. He has to try to do some a lot of bigger transition to go from in between. He's got to make it work. Now he's Mikhaev with the puck. Moving along over, shoot! Saved up by Talbot. Another Kings defensive player will get his own rebound. And now give it over to LaFerrier. LaFerrier will have the puck in right behind the net. Ooh, that Demko will have to try to hold on with that. Yeah, I'm going to hold on with the puck. You know what? I'm going to go in there. The Canucks wins the faceoff as Hughes gives them again to Garland. Three minutes remaining in the second period, looking to get a lead score. Back in, way up the net. Garland trying to hold on to that. Now has it again to Hironic. Get to Hughes. That shot went broken. Denault's got that puck. Nearing his own. And Hughes got that puck. Hughes again. And Roy will have that one in and carried out. Have it over to get to Fiala. And this one's broken up. Lindholm's got that puck. Toward a slot, here's Podemski. Aronik's got that puck. In the right way, he the saucer scores! Connor Garland with his first goal of this game. Puts their team back up by one. That's a great pass. You can give up that one here to, to Aronik. I'm getting ball in with that goal. That's one time effort. Really got it all straight in the line. You just really had that all of your chance. They are back in front. It's a 2-1 game of the Canucks during the 92nd mark. Denault wins this faceoff as Moveware will have it again to Denault. Hold on again to Cole, and he gets it over again to Elias Lindholm. Freeman's got that puck. This one gets closed up on the gap. Last minute remaining in a second period as this one goes back to Denon. The Kings are back into the Canucks zone. Garland's all alone. Going for a takeover. Oh, Tom Brett just got a piece of it and stays out of the net. You know, that was going to be a hard breakout for sure. That one really got close. Demko stops that save. Nearing down the end of the second period, you will hold things up and get ready for the faceoff. Lots of critical in between, a draw in between of the Canucks and the Kings. It's still a 2 1 game. Here's Hodlin Derby, we'll have that puck in range. Up on the other side. Over again, a suitor! Oh, what a catch by Talbot! Just one more face-off before the second period comes to an end. The win puts up for the Kings, and that will end the period here. Kiner Garland has that goal. Brings him up in her lead, and we'll get up to the third period right underway. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. On to the last faceoff and ready to take on for the third period. We hope you had fun with us here for the Stanley Cup playoffs for the fourth, day, fourth game of the second day. And this one has been a tight one taking over the coast of the USA and the Canadian team. Let's have my takes with the group. You guys, for the second period recap. Well, this is what happens. They just really wanted to get this one straight away. A Suricata, they just really had that one here coming right by it. And they are just really wanting to, like, go with that goals. All they've done is just try to, like, tie this game up. Yeah, I know what we're doing. He scores! That's Patterson. That will be another goal here for the Canucks. They now extend 3 1. I've got to see that one here. Alice Patterson, he made a backhand that was wild. 
just really going into it right around the defender, and he just read that one with the goaltender with that block of a, of a loop, and he just went right from the here. Easier enough to say this, that this one's kind of pretty crazy enough here, but I'm just saying that this one is like a hard one and you cannot go wrong. Uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I mean, they're really working it off. Talbot makes the save. And just what they do, because Talbot really has to get that cover side. If he does something that's not worth playing while well, checking the play in between of a pop zone, then there might be a huge problem to that, because there might be a little changing in between. Now the win for the LA Kings brings it back into Fiala. Here's more. Right now the Fiala shot. Good stop by Demko. He's up for a whistle here. 18-11 to go in the third period. Now they're ready to do it our face-off. It's still score 3-1. Up to another win. Dowdy! What a stop by Demko. Yeah, and it's easier to want this side because they really can't handle that one much more. Here's Sutter, battling for the loose puck in the chain. And now Moore has it. Backhander, save me by Demko. Now for the next one coming in. This is still a 3-1 game for the Vancouver Canucks. Now with the win, Dowdy shots. That's blocked in traffic. And Hughes got that puck. He's on his way down, back to the other side. Get the good look. Oh, not enough in time as Talbot will give it again to Dowdy. 17 minutes in the third. Wow, what a takedown. Oh, that was going to be a hard throw. He will have to pay it out with him for them all. Right back at you. Micaiah, he went down as Talbot gives again to Mowbray. And denault has got that puck. Toward the right of the slot. This one got pretty, uh, pretty out of control here, and they got that goal. Kevin Fiala with the first goal against the Canucks. They brought their cutting digits down by one. Well, what happened now, because Kevin Fiala, he got that screen coming in there. He just really saw that one, that the player just got and bounced off. He didn't really think he was ever going to get that at first. What happens is right now, Philip Denault just really has that one over again, right to Kevin Fiala. He made that one a lot quick easier to take over. It's, it's not what happens. It's why you don't do enough with the screen motion, you just don't take enough to do with the credit. That's what happens, and most players can't afford what they usually go with. And they gotta get right into work. Try to fix it, get it done straight. Garland got blocked up as Talbot stops that puck with 15.44 to go. We haven't hit the midway mark of the period. Three twos to score as Vancouver up by one. Los Angeles wins the faceoff. Gavrikov now again to Byfield. And to the right wing. Loses the puck. Tries to get it back again. Freeman's got the puck. Now give it again to Garland. Garland trying to face a fat factor going left and right. Roy over it again to Kopitar. And now Kopitar having to get in the byfield. Shoots! Another blocker saved by Tempo. Gavrikov gives to Roy. That shot went blocked as Lindholm has that puck. Lindholm's got it now in the game's territory. Going for a narrow one. That is off the defender and Roy has it. Roy moves his way down into the Canuck zone. Leaves the puck zone in the entry. Stops on Dubois, Dubois, and now again to Sutter. Sutter again. Can't handle the puck zone. Anderson Dolan's got that puck now again to LaFerrier. LaFerrier will have that puck in. Racing toward it, now makes another save again by Demko. Anderson Dolan trying to tie it. That one stopped again by Demko. Oh, pretty good at defensive work at first. That one's putting another save here by Demko on the night. Oh, what a big smackdown in the King's zone. That one's going to be like, no, can't do, get out of here. Spence will have that puck in. 
Oh, that one's going to be a put back on him. Zarrow finds again to Pedersen. Pedersen in the right wing, now finds Sutter shot. That's saved again by Temko. Moore's got it now. Right toward the right wing. Give again to no. On a shot, saved again by Temko. Goulson lost that puck as Moore's got that rebound. Here's Spence, shoots again! Another bad save again by Demko. Well, it's easier enough to say is that Demko really has to step on into it. I know he was getting really good at it to make the blocker stop, but let's face it, if you're playing like Demko, you've got to show what you do. Talbot makes another save. We're near the midway mark of the period, the third, still a 3-2 game for Vancouver. Not a ready to do this one again, or another face off. Now the win puts again for the LA Kings. Again to Moore. Moore tries to go back into it, as now Goose has it. Now has it again to Laferty. Laferty has that one right into the wing. That stopped again by Talbot. Here he comes on the other side of the way. Moore can't handle the puck zone as he's loses control as Rodick will have it. Nice third entry for the wing. Give the pass to Bogler. Luger can't hold on with that puck as Blyfield takes a steal. That goes with the screen. Riccardi, what a good save by Demko. Oh, uh, he's been really excellent well enough for Demko. Just trying to glove it up. Took it down. 9.30 left to play in the third period. It's still a 3-2 game for Vancouver. Trying to look for a tie. He goes down. Move right shot. What a blocker stop here for the Bullser. And now they're back in the airway in the Kings zone. Here's a shot. Another bad save here by Talbot. That one goes to number one. Take the rebound in. JT Miller didn't get the goal that much. Ducati will have it. That will never go save here by Demko. Move rare again to Kopitar. Another bad step by Demko. And Byfield. Downy shot. That's blockered up. And it's too many bodies in a way. And Skews will have it. Eight minutes remaining in the third period. Trying to go up with the extension to go with the cut digit to extension lead for a 4 2 game. I feel alone, say Demko, what a stop. That's whatever happens. They just really noticed that Kopitar didn't really think he was ever going to get there. I had a look for JT Miller. He just got bumped up with this stick here, and that went hit off the skate, and he had to rush back toward the bench, and he had to make sure he gets there in time. Because sometimes it happens, he got in really bad shape. But with the skate, it's definitely hard on his ankle. Kings wins the faceoff. Shoots again. Another bad save here by Demko. Poked it away. Sutter's got it. Leaves the King zone behind. On a shot. Save by Talbot. Sutter went down. He's trying to fight for the rebound as Drew Dowdy has it. Now again to Anderson Door. Now back to Hoglander. Hollander trying to look his way around. Give now the Freeman shot. That one's tipped away and on another pat stop by the goaltender. Dowdy will now have it over again to Anderson Dolan. Spin circle now find the Furrier. That pass saved again by Demko. Cole now gives it over to Sutter. Under six minutes remaining in the third period. Freeman's got that puck. Now gives again to Cole. He goes again to Sutter. Sutter on his way down in the corner. Shoots! Talbot save! 5.33 left to go in the third period. It's a 3-2 game. We are getting close down to the end of a period. In regulation, still 3-2 game. And Xander off. Shot! Stopped by Talbot. Roy now has it. On to the right wing. Shoots again! Demko stop. Zara said that back, and now we made it to the five-minute mark in the third. 
Mikhaev's got that puck now into the center. Shoots up in the wing. That one stayed away from Talbot. Another one for the goal. Talbot holds that puck in recovery. Nearing down a 4.30 bar. We have a winner. Let's go down to, to another side reporter, Elias Pedersen of Ball Point Bet. I know Elias Pedersen has been doing great. All of his technique turns to be a sniper on the set, and he's been really been doing well. Sometimes he doesn't do really uh, good enough to get this one here, that tricky, tricky move, but that will be a hard one to try to take over. He's doing it pressuring, guys. Let's see how he can do if he gets another game there. Jolson's got that puck and now into back into the King zone. Shoots again. Pucked it out of here by Talbot. And now back again. Trying to battle the puck. Blyfield's got it now. Los Angeles Kings are back into the offense zone. That one gets blocked. Try to rebound it in. Take the tie. No. Demko makes a save. That one has to fleck it off the open look as Zadarov had tried to get that puck out of here. And now Hollander will have it. One-on-one -on -one opportunity fast break. Move in middle. Oh, what a big stop by Demko. He didn't get the puck handling this time. Oh, that is just not easy to type. If it was going to be a stick handling, he would have had to do that again. Save off by Demko. Two minutes remaining in the third period. Now has it to Roy. Shot blocked by Lindholm. Lindholm tries to go back the other way. Here comes the attack. That gets blocked up by Roy. Roy now holds over again to Moore. 90 seconds in the third period. And now Denault will have that. He's going to take it over. Lazowski is with the puck. Over in the middle. And Denault takes that puck. Last minute remaining in the third period in Vancouver trying to take him out. Here's Dowdy, the extra skaters on as the man advantage takes him away. And he's going to take it over. Who's shot? Score. what happens for Quinn Hughes, he can take a deep firing puck range, end the game, and they are letting the Vancouver Canucks win their first season, first game of the night. All the fans are on the feed, nearing the 32nd mark, as Moveway will have that puck in range after a faceoff win by LA. Anderson Dolan trying to get to the Fury shot, and another stop by Demko. Anderson Dolan, blocked by Demko. Oh, he's been doing really well at that point. Well, he's been great. Keep that one going in for you, Demko. Because they also appreciated you. Do all of your accomplishment. Now the win for the LA Kings. Rebound again. Hughes tries to stop one. And now Hughes will have it. Hughes got the puck. Final seconds remaining. And he can do it again. Two goals in the game for the empty netter for Quinn Hughes. And they extend it 5 to 2. That's whatever happens now because Quinn Hughes really had to take a step forever and extend it, make a win in Vancouver. The Canucks have been a better team here and they are already been picking it up. Now the win for the LA Kings. Final second, and it's all over. Vancouver wins the first game and the playoffs, and they are now on the board. It's a 5-1-0 game, Vancouver. Well, that's what they do, because Demko really had to save it all, make it big, and Crowdy make it successful. We can all salute for the Fonz for sure. They've done their best. Welcome back to the Canucks. And that's going to wrap it up here. We're along with me, fun along with Terry Cruz and Wood Spoonie and Ballpoint Pen. This has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thanks for joining with us and have a great night. Alright guys, thank you so much. Time for three star players of the game. Third star starts off with Philip Horonic. 
with two assists and ten hits, got that one timer in. The second star goes to Quinn Goose with two goals, one assist, and three hits. All you have to be like a hit about to take him out. And your first star player, Thatcher Demko. 54 saves in a row. He's been kicking it in there ever since. And let's have a look for the uh, recap of the whole statistics of how he did it. 56 over 54 for the total shots on goal for the LA Kings. Then it's 50 over 46 for the LA Kings. Then it's 635 for the time on attack, over 544 for the Kings. 94%, he's been doing really well. And only along with the 35 faceoff wins. And no penalty kill, no power plays, no power play minutes here. And this one got pretty clean. Well, I guess they're now. I mean, both guys are clean. I mean, no dirty play on that one, because there is nothing to handle you don't have to worry about. <laughs> Definitely that true. I mean, that's all that happens. So that is it for day number two for game one. If you enjoyed this one, we'll stick you around for the second game in the Stanley Cup playoffs game two that we'll be currently doing on the other side in between to start with the Eastern Conference to the Western Conference. First, it will be Florida Panthers and the Toronto Maple Leafs. And the second game, we have it across now. You call it all because there is a number one that we are about to do another reset. Oilers and the Golden Knights, then back to the East Coast. Flyers and the Hurricanes back to Carolina at PNC Arena. And finally, it's the Avalanche facing against the Winnipeg Jets at Ball Arena. Please stay tuned because we have a lot of tons of great announcements that we will have all of you covered in here because we've got you all covered now. Because at this point, you know what's coming in. The Olympics. Yeah, it's going to be amazing right now, so hopefully let's call that one for a day and see how we can handle it. Yep, that's true. So thanks for joining us. I hope you have appreciate this video. Please support with my channel here by clicking the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and also follow me on my social medias. If you don't, somebody will. Thanks for watching. Peace out for a while as the NHL 24 of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. This is Son of Beast and Boomer. See you all again next time. Adios, amigos. If you don't, if you don't, somebody.